In this video, we will talk about managing your assets with Odoo. You can manage the assets owned by your company or by an individual and keep track of the depreciations that occurred on those assets. The system will allow you to create accounting moves of the depreciation lines. What will we see in this video? I will talk about computation methods that are available in Odoo, i.e. linear or regressive. The linear method consists in depreciating portions of the original costs in equal increments over a period, with or without the salvage or residual value. The degressive method means that a higher depreciation charge will occur in the first year of an asset's life and then gradually decrease over the next years. We will also talk about the time methods that can be used in Odoo which are number of depreciations. So you specify the number of times the goods will be depreciated, for instance, five years or 16 months, and you indicate period length. That when you, the number of times in one year that you will post a depreciation entry. The ending date time method indicates, means that you have to indicate period length meaning the number of times in one year you will post a depreciation entry. If you set this value to zero, to one, for instance, Odoo will create 12 entries in one year. We will also talk about the uh, accounts that will be used, and these are the asset account, which holds the purchase value and will be credited when depreciation line is posted, the depreciation account, which can be the same as the asset account or a different account if you want to store the depreciation separately. And then the depreciation expense account, which will be debited when the depreciation line is posted. To start with the assets in Odoo, you go to Settings, Configuration, Accounting, and you tick Asset Management. Then click Apply. Assets can be created first in the form of categories, and the asset categories hold the depreciation rules that will be applied. So let's start by going to the accounting menu and create an asset category, for instance, for the depreciation of a car. So we go to accounting, Configuration, Assets, and we create an Asset category. So click Create. Give it a name, for instance, Cars. Use a miscellaneous journal or create a specific asset journal. For the asset accounts, you can select the fixed asset account. In this case, we will use the same to do the depreciation. And for the expense account, we will use a specific um, expense account, which is called 220. Usually, these will be separate accounts, but here we just use these accounts to show you what Odoo is able to do. As a time method, we will choose number of depreciations. We will depreciate the car during five years, and we will use a period length of 12, meaning that we will have one depreciation entry each year. If you want to depreciate your car, for instance, over five years, and you want a depreciation entry every month, you should specify number of depreciations, 60, and period length of one. The computation method for cars um, can be uh, linear or regressive. In this case, we choose linear. And it can be pro rata temporis according to the country you live in or the laws that are applied to your country. Pro rata temporis means that um, in case your asset has to be depreciated from the purchase date of the invoice and not from the start date of your financial year, you have to check Prodata Temporis. 
the depreciation cost will be limited to the actual number of days the asset is used in that year. You can skip the draft states, and if this checkbox is ticked, the assets of this category will automatically be confirmed when created from a purchase invoice. If you do not tick this checkbox, you will have to confirm the actual asset before depreciation will start. We click Save. First of all, I will explain how you can create your assets manually. So you click Create in Accounting Assets Assets, and you say, OK, I am going to depreciate the CEO car in my asset category for cars. When I select this asset category, you will notice that the parameters here will automatically be changed. In this case, they are the same as the default parameters, but they, can, uh, they will be changed here. You can enter a reference, for instance, an invoice number, and you can link it to a uh, parent asset. If you have, for instance, um, if you would like to group and you create a parent asset for all cars, you could uh, group it to all cars. You enter the purchase date. By default, it will be today, but it can also be um, for historical assets that you want to keep in uh, Odoo. It can be in previous years or whatever. You enter the gross value of the car and you can enter a possibly salvage value, which is remaining value after full depreciation. You can enter a partner at which you bought the car, but in this case, we will not uh, do this. So we use the same parameters, we save the asset and we check the depreciation board that is automatically generated. Since we did not use the Prorata Temporis method, the depreciation board will start from the first day of my financial year, which in this case is the 1st of January. Okay. If you want to change the depreciation, you can click Edit and simply change the amount. As soon as you create the entry and post it, the post flag will be changed. Now we will create a purchase invoice for a car. Let's select an existing one and duplicate it. We will buy a sales manager car, link it to the fixed assets account and then we select the asset category to which we want to post this asset. So we add the amount, we save the invoice, we update the taxes and we validate the invoice. When we validate the invoice, Odoo will create a draft asset in the cars category. So now when we return to the assets menu, we will see that a new asset has been created with the asset name being the description used in the purchase invoice. So if I open this asset, I see that all the default rules from the asset category cars have been taken. The reference is the purchase invoice number that has been created and the partner is automatically linked. So all data are automatically filled from the um, purchase invoice. Now suppose we want to change and for 
this single asset we want to depreciate every month over five years. So we change the number of depreciations to 60 and the number of months in a period, meaning the number of entries that will be posted each month will be one. So we save, we check the depreciation board and we click compute. Now you will have 60 depreciations of 250 each starting from the 1st of January because I haven't ticked uh, the prorata temporis parameter. We will confirm the asset and we will um, show you how you can post these assets in Odoo. You go to periodic processing, recurring entries, and you click Compute Assets. You can select the period for which you want to post assets. And since in this case we start from January, we click Compute. And Odoo will check all confirmed assets and post all the entries that should be posted for that period. So we click Confirm. And we see that we have the first entry generated. Now, as you have uh, noticed with the wizard, uh, Odoo will automatically check for all assets that need to be posted. But of course, if you want an individual asset to be posted, you can also do that from the asset itself. Click the asset, go to the depreciation board and click this icon. This will create the move, but only for the corresponding asset. So that's another way you can post your assets. Now, if we go to the history tab of this asset, you will notice that the miscellaneous, miscellaneous entry we just posted has been added. Now for reporting um, for your assets, you have in the reporting section, accounting assets analysis and here you have different ways of showing your assets by default the posted amount and the gross amount will be displayed and the assets will be um, grouped by asset category now if you want to see the different assets yes and why are both assets shown here because I didn't specify that it should only be running assets. So if I only want to see the actual confirmed assets, I click running. If this is one of the filters I would like to use most, I can, as usual, save, I'm sorry, I can, as usual, save the current filter, give it a name and share it or use it by default. You can also click the sales manager car to see the actual number of depreciations already made. You can create a heat map and see which are the most important amounts. Since we only have one asset, of course, this is not very explanatory, but I just wanted to show you the reporting methods for assets.